What's up, Critique Crew? It is I, Key, and welcome to Kiki's Critique. Grab your matcha or your spicy chai tea and get set with me because we about to get all the way unbothered. Let's get it, y'all. up y'all welcome back so it's been a lot going on in the world guys we already know it's so much going on in the world i mean we are in like a race war like never before um there is like i mean so much that due to you know technology that we have become privileged to if you would use that word um i think in a sense we need to be privileged to the world to to what's going on in the world in in such a way where social media is, is catching some of the most horrific human acts that we have seen in a very long time and, and i think i mean it's not that none of the stuff has been has not been going on the stuff has been going on since the beginning of time there's been wars and feuds and 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 since the very beginning and sadly um it's been causing a lot of us severe anxiety severe fear um, severe um, concern and as it should um, however at the same time I believe that it's most important is it, it during this time this season of our lives it's very 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 important to really rely on and lean on your faith whether i mean where your faith lies that gives you hope and positivity and comfort and reassurance that's what we have to hold on to now more than ever guys like literally there's so much that is happening that that a lot of it is even out of our control. Not that we don't have a say so, not that we don't have a vote, not that any of that, um, not that we can't protest and we can't lift our every voice and song and shout. Um, all of those things are our rights that we can we can exercise within our own being as humans. Um However, what we know at the end of the day is that the almighty creator of all life and all forms is in total control of this situation. So prayer is in order. And I know that for one, that God is not in the business of, of, of hurting us and causing us to lose our peace. And so this message today is going to be a little fun but still kind of serious at the same time I think um in some of the ways and some of the things the examples that I'm going to give on how to be unbothered and what I mean by unbothered I'm not talking about careless carelessness I'm not talking about getting rid of your responsibilities I'm talking about increasing your responsibilities by being unbothered Okay, um, because the things that you do should not cause me to lose my peace. The things that's going on within the government, the things that's going on in the world should not cause me to lose my peace because I am a child of God. I can be saddened by your choices. I can be grieved by your choices. I can be upset by what's going on in the world. But if I lose my peace, then I'm allowing myself to um, be controlled by my emotions and not based on what God's word is and says in my life and that that goes vice versa guys because here's the thing as long as we allow each other to be individuals to make the mistakes that we need to make to 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 live their lives the way that they need to live it mistakes and all whether people are right or wrong we have to allow them to be 
individuals. You have to allow them to be living their truth because people living in their truth is is primarily um, designed to help us become who we are created to be. I mean, and that's that again. Everything is vice versa. Because here's the thing: the God who made you who you are for you, He also made you who you are for me. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're not just who you are just to benefit you and your life. But your life, if we have met, if you have seen me, I have seen you. If our lives have crossed paths in any way, shape, or form, then you are made not just for you, but you are made for me too. You are made to show me things and to grow me and, and to help me to be the best person that I could be through your flaws and all. For an example is like... You be who you are instead of envying you, instead of feeling, instead of that envy, I can actually learn to have, um, to have the qualities that forces me to evaluate who I am. My envy of you, instead of looking at it in a negative way, should force me to look inside myself to make me want to do better. If I'm jealous of you, then it should not read jealousy. It should read that I need to do everything that I need to do according to the word of God that is working and actively in my life so I can have all the things that's meant for me. So my jealousy, I shouldn't have jealous of you. It, that, that jealousy, whatever that feels is it should immediately take hold and root in God's word and say, okay, ooh, I'm feeling a certain type of way, so Lord, I need to have everything that you have for me. I need to get in alignment. I Help me to, to be obedient to your word and your will for my life. That is what that is supposed to do. Um, that's how we become unbothered if we allow other people to live their life. Then that one, that that design will benefit us too. I mean, we can think about anything that's, I mean, what's going on in the world and the differences that we see within people. Well, that should inspire me. If if, if, if this election is, is 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 right here at our doorstep, and you know, whoever, I, I listen here. I know who I'm voting for. And at the end of the day, I am one person and we are all one people. And if we all lift every voice and sing, then prayerfully, the person in office will be in office. But I, what I know for sure is that God is in control and whoever wins this election at the end of the day, God is still greater. Is greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. And I will still stay unbothered. And live my life according to what God tells me to do. And I will be protected no matter who's in the White House. It won't even, I will still be protected because God will allow whoever's in that White House to, because he will even make your enemies a footstool. So if someone is in the, in the office that is, is an enemy of yours, God will still make that enemy a footstool underneath your feet. And that enemy will still be in position to bless you because God is greater. Come on, y'all. Like, we have to start really looking at the fact that there is a grand design. There's a grand design and there's a purpose for everything and everybody. So you be you. I mean, we're able to see who is, I mean, listen, mistakes reveal a lot from a person, okay? And so if, if those mistakes that you have to make, that I have to make, is it will be like sharpening your iron or sandpaper to just get you all nice and smooth. We, as long as we live our true, authentic, 100,000% self, then we automatically encourage other people to live in their truth, to be who they are meant to be. And we both, we all grow excellently because we are learning from each other's authenticity and we live unbothered. So, guys, Today, I want you to align yourself with the peace of God. And the peace of God surpasses all understanding. That means even if you don't understand what in the world is going on, you know that you can still remain unbothered because you know that whatever, whoever, and however things are positioned, that God has a plan and a purpose for your life. 
And he was using this very thing, that very thing, to inspire, to motivate, and to settle us into his peace. And that doesn't mean that you don't prepare for battle. That doesn't mean that you don't stay concerned about what's going on in the world. And that doesn't mean that you don't do your part in prayer and in action to, to set forth some sort of change. It's saying, do all those things and still remain unbothered because God is greater. I pray this blessed you guys. I, I just wanted to just knock on your door real quick and say, listen, sis, listen, bruh, let's get unbothered, baby, because what's most important is that we remain peaceful. That is what's going to reveal the answers to what it is that we need to do because we are remaining peaceful. We will not hear from God if we are stirred up and rallied up, okay? Peace be with you. Shalom, my brothers and sisters. Shalom, shalom. Get your chai tea. Sip it, baby. Sip it, darling, and get unbothered. Do what you need to do. We get unbothered, baby. Okay, because it's going to be okay. It's, it's going to be okay. One way or the other, it's going to be okay. Bye.